Titanic. Now, this is something everybody is aware of uh, about this uh, uh, Dreamliner. And uh, <coughs> let's see what was it? What was Titanic? So, here's a reference to the Titanic at Wikipedia. So, let me just open it up for you. So, this is uh, the Wikipedia page which describes about uh, uh, the RMS Titanic. And RMS Titanic was a British passenger liner that sank in North Atlantic Ocean on 15th April 1912 after colliding with an iceberg. So, so you can go through this whole uh, page and let me come back to the slide. So RMS Titanic was a British passenger liner that sank in North Atlantic on 15th April 1912 after colliding with an iceberg during her maiden voyage from Southampton, UK to New York City, US. The sinking of Titanic caused death of 1502 people in one of the deadliest peacetime maritime disasters in modern history. The RMS Titanic was the largest ship afloat at the time of her maiden voyage. She was the second of the three Olympic class ocean liners operated by White Star Line and she was built by Harland and Wolf Shipyard in Belfast with Thomas Andrews who perished with the ship as her naval architect. On her maiden voyage, she carried 2,224 passengers and the crew. And at that point of time, it was, you know, deemed to be virtually unsinkable. But she sank. And what exactly happened, that how it sank, you can find a lot of, uh, you know, animation videos uh, on the web. Uh, here is one that I would like to uh, show to you. So let's have a look at this. still kills 1.1 million children annually in developing countries. So if you can see that this Titanic grazed uh, against this iceberg and there were these damages that happened uh, to the bottom section uh, where the bulkheads were there and the water started to fill into these uh, bulkheads and from the lower levels it started to rise to the upper levels and <coughs> it reached all the way to the uh, the uh, <coughs> top sections and this made the front section heavier and <coughs> it started to sink and so as you can see it started to tilt like this and that resulted in you know, the whole of the <coughs> ship going down to the sea and to an extent that you will see that it snapped in between it snapped and then it went went all the way down now so so then there are a lot of other animations you can have a look at them but the main thing is why did it sink so the reason for sinking uh, there were human reasons and there were technical reasons the human reasons were the errors committed by humans that is in terms of uh, you know uh, let's say the the communication that came in right or the way they reacted to uh, the information about the iceberg uh, all that stuff so we are not looking into those parts uh, let us look at the technical reasons the technical reasons in terms of the design flaws and in terms of the material flaws so what was wrong with the design and in terms of materials the different material that was used that is for the sides and the rivets that were used to keep these sides you know glued together 
what was the flaw in that and of course some of the other reasons like the ship management itself for example the number of lifeboats uh, which were there on the ship could accommodate less number of people than uh, they were on the board and uh, of course the regulations related to for example the lifeboats and the inspections that were done on the ship or uh, the, the regulations that were lacking and hence got never got covered in the inspections now there are some other references that I'd like to show you so here is a, a BBC reference you can check out so it gives details about you know all the various reasons that you know why did this happen and uh, what were the various reasons uh, for it that is the design flaws and the material the quality of the rivets right all that stuff and uh, also at history.com you can find out uh, more details so it will basically you know uh, give you details about uh, the Titanic the making of it and what were the Titanic's fatal flaws like that okay all right so now you might be wondering that why we are uh, discussing Titanic in a software testing course so uh, it will eventually become clear so just stay put uh, uh, with the uh, uh, with the details that I'm sharing for now and uh, if you look at the design flaws of the Titanic it has been uh, uh, you know uh, through these uh, references you can find out that how did the flooding of the whole ship happen as we just saw in the animation the height of the bulkheads you know did not reach the deck above so it was extending only 10 feet that is 3 meters above the water line so when it struck the iceberg the 5 of the 16 compartments breached causing the bow to dip which in turn forced water into the remaining compartments and as a result the the front got front bottom got heavy right and it started to sink now now this kind of a uh, design flaw has been that is the height of the bulkheads has been and not only just the height of the bulkhead but also you know making them watertight from the top so uh, and lot of uh, other things so they have been incorporated into later ships that is they have now extended the height of the bulkheads they have made them fireproof they have fitted with a second internal hull to make both more impact resistance so that if one breaches there is still another one which can act as a backup and the ship's bulkhead also became watertight on all sides by stretching from deck plate to the deck head that is floor to ceiling they were watertight so spilling over from one to another could be prevented and the material flows so now uh, if we see uh, it has been you know in these uh, references said that reinforced steel plates held together like glue by millions of rivets that's how the ship was made and uh, the metallurgical and mechanical tests showed that it was brittle at ice water temperatures and cast doubts about the quality of the rivets so if you go and look into the history of making of uh, Titanic uh, it was one of the most famous uh, most advanced and most luxurious uh, passenger liners of that time and uh, you know there was a lot of uh, you know a uh, uh, lot of uh, drive in you know delivering it uh, uh, fast and uh, so the materials that were coming you know there was pressure on you know uh, the the uh, the getting those <coughs> Uh, materials fast so for example the rivets that were used there were a lot of rivets that was needed and uh, the pressure to you know have the deliveries of those rivets coming you know more frequently uh, may have led to the compromise of the quality of the rivets so uh, I did not get any references in this uh, uh, in these two references whether you know they were frequent tests that were conducted or what kind of tests that were conducted on these uh, batches of the rivets to make sure that their quality is consistent 
and other thing is that uh, if you see now modern form of steel are more impact resistance and are around 10 times less brittle as they contain higher level of manganese and lower levels of sulfur oxygen and phosphorus so from the learning of the titanic it became quite evident that we need more impact resistant steel and then you know a lot of research went into how you know you can make them impact resistance make them less brittle and they came up with these kind of uh, combinations